you're all well. So you can see from our little montage there that we have got a lot of layers to work with today. I'm going to show you an easy way in which I layer. But first of all I just wanted to go through the HTV that I'm using. So everything that you see in front of you now is from a company called rainbowofstitches.co.uk and I will put the link to their products below. I use them a lot for my leatherette and for also my fabric, but they were actually one of the first companies that I ever ordered HTV from. I've been using them for a long time now and their HTVs are absolutely stunning. You've just seen me weed them there. They weed beautifully, they really do. So they do some really gorgeous holographics and some really beautiful metallic colours as well. Now their HTV is slightly thicker than some of the others on the market so with both the holographic and the metallic I cut them on the glitter iron-on setting and you can see that they cut and they weed beautifully. I've got some plain white HTV which I've got from MDP. I've got some fast flex in black which is three second HTV which I have done a video on. I love working with this. And I've got some rose gold as well. These are both from craftblanksuk.com. So I've got my base layer here. Now when I'm working with lots of layers, if I just go and individually start placing them onto my product, I'm going to get myself in a muddle really, really quickly. So I layer them onto my base layer and I work it out that way. So I've got my base layer, so I'm going to come in with my face first. And the great thing about HTV is until it's actually heated and it's actually stuck to your product, you can keep moving it. So if you're not happy with the position, you can just keep coming in and changing it. And that is a great thing when trying to work out your layers. We're then going to come in with our hair. And again, if we're not happy, we can just move it. We can then come in with our bow. And we can then add our star. And we're just going to keep building it like this and getting it exactly how we want it to be. Once it's complete, you're actually able to lift it up and move the whole thing around. So you can make sure that you're really happy with it, you can place it on your product. So you can see that you can then place it on your product and just make sure that you're happy with everything. So as always I've got my Cricut Easy Press mat, I've then got my homemade fabric pillow inside of my makeup bag. So I want my back layer first, so I'm just going to come in and peel it away. Trying to keep everything else in place. You'll see that everything will stay as we've left it and we've then got our bottom layer. So as I say this is the Fast Flex which is a 3 second HTV so it's at 160 degrees Celsius on our Easy Press. So we're just going to bring our Easy Press in and let it count down for 3 seconds. It always amazes me how quick that is. We're then just going to give it 10 seconds to cool down. We can then come in and just gently peel. And then to make sure that that's really stuck down, I'm just going to place a Teflon sheet over and I'm going to go back in for 160 degrees Celsius for 3 seconds. If we then go back to our layers and we turn it over and we take the next back layer off, You'll see it's our rose gold. So we're just going to come in and place that. And if you're unsure, all you're going to do is bring this layer back and just sit it on top and make sure that you're happy with how it all sits. And it just gives you a nice kind of guideline to work with. 
I'm then going to bring my Teflon sheet over and I've set my easy press to 150 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds. So this time I'm going to come in and I'm going to take away the whole top section and I'm also going to just take away the eyes as well. So I can remove my bow and my star in one. I'm just going to come in and place my hair. Now the metallic and the holographic from a rainbow of stitches, they are pressed at the same heat. So that's going to make life a lot easier. So I press them at 165 degrees Celsius for 20 seconds, but as always it will be dependent on the fabric you're using as well. Once again we want to let that cool down for about 10 seconds. We're then just going to come in and gently peel and we're just going to place that and again 165 degrees Celsius for 20 seconds. The bow is holographic, the hair is metallic but they will press on the same. how much easier that makes life. So we're going to go in for one final press just to seal this purple holographic. We're going to do it at 165 degrees Celsius for 20 seconds. And all that layering is now done and it looks beautiful. I love the metallics, the holographics, the rose gold. It all goes so, so beautifully together.